If you own a 2015 and up Mustang and you get a popping sound when you put your brakes on just going forward but not backward, uh, then this video is for you. I'll show you how I uh, diagnosed the, the sound, where it was coming from, using microphones, and then uh, show you a video of the ball joint actually moving. Now I use the automotive microphones that clamp on to places and you can diagnose uh, where the sound is coming from, but if you don't have that, you can use just a cheap microphone to plug into your phone and uh, just tape it up near one wheel, tape it up near the other wheel and just listen. But I'll show you how I did it. I'm gonna go forward and brake, go forward, brake, just listen for the pop. This is at 80, 81,000 miles. All right, the first thing I did to locate the sound of the pop was uh, pull out my uh, Steelman chassis gear. And basically, it's just a couple microphones that you clamp on to different places on your car and then uh, use this and have the headset on. And you go down the road and make the sound happen and see which one is louder. Right now, I have it on green and white and this one's green, this one's white. And I did the both, both sides of the front of the car and determined it was this one here, uh, right here, this one, the front ball joint. So it would only pop when going forward. Going in reverse, it wouldn't pop, but going forward and hitting the brake, it would pop. So that's how I determined where on the car the problem was coming from. And then I attached the GoPro here to see that this one was actually moving a little bit compared to this. So here's the kit that I bought, the M3075-F. Well, this kit was $300 and this does both sides the right and the left. Um, you can find this kit for like, uh, I think $285 was the cheapest I found. But I paid $300 for this. If, if I just bought the original parts for the right side, uh, it would be about $220 for two, two control arms for the front right. But $300 for both sides, so this is what I bought. Let's see what's in it. A box in a box. Alright. So that's the left side. It says L on it. First, we got to get the wheel off. Go ahead. First, we got to take this nut off. And then we got to take this nut off here on the the front control arm. Go ahead. Next, you grab your biggest hammer you got and just whack it right there. Okay, it took a few more wax and I used the crowbar to push down on it and it came out then. This one's being a little more stubborn so I put some uh, coil oil on it to loosen it up a little bit. I'll give it a few wax. I just gave it one last whack right there and it popped right out. Now we need to get the back control arm bolt out. Pop this plastic piece out so you can get a little bit better access to the bolt. We'll use a breaker bar on this one to break it free. Go ahead. Well, I'm doing a compare from the new parts to the old parts. Uh, these two look the same except for the air uh, deflector to the brakes. This one here, actually the original one looks beefier than the new one. And this is uh, Ford Performance parts. This is the left side. It's it's wore out too. So 
install the new piece in the front. And there's two bolts in the kit, so make sure you grab the right one. Of course, the long one for the front one. And tighten this one here to 85 foot pounds. Torque this one to 185 foot pounds. Now we need to install the rear control arm. Now tighten the uh, back ball joint. And then tighten this one up.